In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to show you what I believe to be one of the best ways to score on running solo challenges in Madden 21, and this is one of the best running plays in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and in, uh, my YouTube channel is designed to help you improve in Madden 21, so I want to welcome you if you've never been before. And basically what I want to talk about today is how to uh, improve in solo challenges, because we all have to get solo challenges done to grind our team to get our team better. And this was my favorite uh, running play for, for solo challenges. But before I do that, I do want to encourage you right now to go ahead and go in the bottom right of the corner of screen and click subscribe okay if by clicking subscribe what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to stay notified because again we upload four videos a day on YouTube that are designed to help you get better at Madden NFL 21 tips strategies concepts like this that are just me giving you things that you can use that are practical um, that will help you get better at this game or get more done in this game. So um, one of the things I don't like to do is I don't like to play solo challenges. I don't know somebody that really does like to. I want to get them through as quickly as possible. And so I'm in the running gun playbook. This QB uh, power out of that um, with you don't have to you can put a running back here. Um, it doesn't have to be Lamar for the Ravens. I would put Lamar just because Lamar is a beast. Um, and if you have a good Lamar and Mutt, you can put Lamar in there. But I would recommend a Raheem Mostert uh, card to put right in that position. But literally, it doesn't matter what the defense is. Like you can basically you're going to be able to either run inside or outside depending on what the defense does with this. What I like about this run also is you can actually crank it all the way back to the left. So basically wherever you wherever the defense is vulnerable, you see here you can you can you can hit this run. I mean, you can consistently, especially against the computer, you can consistently um get this run to, to pop for you as you see right here you can get it up the middle um, these are this is to me one of the better ways to do the running solo challenges because literally this run just works so well um, because of the blocking if you if you're patient if you practice this run in a little bit of practice mode before you go into the solo challenges or just do maybe some of the solo challenges that don't require so much running what you're gonna find is you're gonna you're gonna consistently be able to move the ball pretty quickly uh, against the opponent when when running the ball I really like this run you know to me I, I do want to show one other uh, thing that you can do uh, from this I like the power I think the power is more consistent I also think the power just gets a little bit better blocking but I'll show you um, a couple of other things that you can do uh, but here here you see it getting through there I almost got out there for a touchdown and you'll see I'll, I'll consistently get about 10 to 15 yards Pretty much every play, especially with the computer just on autopilot, you know, whatever the computer calls, um, and there was probably a bad read. But what I do like about this play, I do want to show you, if I get a good look, I can show you this. But you can actually, if you're running straight, watch this, I can go all the way back left. That to me is huge because now, again, depending on the strengths and weaknesses of the defense, all I'm doing, I'm not hitting turbo. Do not hit turbo as soon as you get the ball. You want to kind of glide, set your blockers up, and then explode through the hole just like that right there. And you're going to see I'm going to be able to get out and get a pretty significant gain uh, against my opponent. The other thing you'll see with this is if I start running, you know, keep my momentum forward, and then I just hard cut left, you'll see this right here with someone like Lamar or someone that has good agility, good juke move. Um, maybe you put jukebox on the player itself. Um, this really does help. Another thing you can do is you can typically actually get to the edge here fairly simply, um, especially again if you have a Raheem Mostert or a Lamar. When you're playing Mutt, you're going to be going up against computer players that aren't, you know, aren't the best. Um, and you'll see here, you see how the blocks just like literally are wide open. Um, there's also runs out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook that I haven't talked about that uh, will be very effective at the, against this as well. But I find this running gun playbook to be the most simple way to do it. Um, it's worked for years. One other thing I do want to show you before, uh, I want to show you two other plays that you can use um, for the running challenges. So the first one still comes from the Wildcat, and that is the Jet Sweep. Uh, what you'll see with the Jet Sweep is you can get to the edge pretty significantly on this. If you just run wide to the right, you see there, and it, it, it's sometimes simpler than the power, but I think the power is more consistent. I think the jet sweeps a little bit more hit or miss. But on those challenges that you want to try to get like a, you know, a one play 99 yard touchdown or whatever, you can use this jet sweep fairly significant. I mean, for the most part, this is going to be fairly significant for you, uh, fairly consistent. Uh, he's going to be able to get, they're going to get that edge shield sealed and he's going to be able to get through. Sometimes it's not as clean as it was last year. Um, last year was a little bit cleaner, but 
you know, overall, I you you mix these two runs together, you're going to be able to beat pretty much any defense um, out there from from a running perspective. This is a very good run. It's not just good for Mutt. I mean, this is good for head to head as well. I want to give you one other scheme that you can, or one other running play that you can use if you're trying to complete those uh, solo challenges. That's the uh, ace slot stretch alert bubble. Or you could even use the I-Form slot flex stretch alert smoke. Um, either one of those two. You want a twin set. That's the key. Um, if you go to weak close, you can even use the die. But I would, I would, I would recommend um, single back A slot stretch bubble. And what you'll see here is if I go against random plays, that that um, there's always going to be. I could just flip the play to whatever side I want to run. And typically, what's going to happen is. With the computer, you're not going to face as much. The computer's always going to auto-align to the wide receiver side. So if you make one juke, you're going to be out. I mean, pretty consistently with the stretch. Um, it doesn't work every time, but very consistently, you know, you're going to see here, if you can get out of here uh, with your stretch, you can run it inside, you can run it outside, and you're just going to be able to consistently work the ball at the field running the ball. So those are three really, really good runs that I want to encourage you. If you're trying to get solo challenges done, to me, those are really, really good easy methods to be able to do that. So I know it's been a little bit for me to post this. I probably should have posted this a little sooner in the year. I've been working so hard on the ebooks. If you haven't picked up an ebook, you can in the description. It's my really good work, uh, in my opinion. There's more coming in those ebooks. They will be updated um, by, I'm going to try to have all of them updated by the end of September. Um, by and, and there will be updates coming this week as well. But um, the, the defense and offense are really good. Arizona defense, uh, offense and 4-6 uh, defense. You get both of them in the bundle guide. You can pick it up in the description below. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you have a Madden question, just text in. My number is 812-216-3644. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to join the Discord. The Discord is just an amazing place, amazing opportunity for you to be able to um, just get better. Um, just get better in, in the game because once you start playing with better players, once you start talking bad with better players, you're going to get better. It's just going to happen um, because you're going to be working harder. You're going to be labbing more. You're going to be practicing more. So Discord is a really, really good way to do that. Um, guys, i got a couple other videos that are going to come up on the screen that I want you to check out. And we have another video coming for you guys in a few hours. We also are live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We will see you there. And if you've never been to my channel before, check the channel out. There's a lot more content over there. Like I said, I post four times a day. I've got everything organized and playlists on my channel so you can check out all of my strategies, um, all of my different plays. And there's probably going to be a playlist that pops up on the screen for you tonight or in the video here so we'll see you guys thank you so much for your time